All right, we just picked up two 550s with the 7.3 gas and some 488 gears. Going to be doing some testing in Mexico. It's in California, you can only have a trailer at 10,000 pounds. This Mini X is a little over nine without the bucket. So it's probably 9,500. And I think this trailer is about 4,400. So we're probably you know, right at that 14, 15,000 pound range, somewhere in there. <clears throat> Gonna head up to the mountains, see how she does. Uh, start working our way to the uh, Sonora Mountains. I mean, Sonoran, Mexico mountains. But we're there. The stump trailer is not the best thing to haul this on because you can't get over the axles the way that I'd like to, but most of this stuff goes on the semi anyway. So this is a hell of a lot more than we'll ever be behind, be behind this truck. Just wanted to see what it'd do before it goes out in service. All right. So I'm gonna get straight here and we'll give her the beans and see what happens. speed on 15,000 so it's hoping to do a little 0 to 60 with it but see how she goes and this tow haul mode is pretty aggressive it is on my personal truck too I think Ford probably could have done a little bit better with the transmission programming but it does it's a gas engine and it's got to be higher in RPM for the to have power so I see why they do it this is never going to be a 6.7 diesel that has gobs of torque at 1600, but all these service trucks are derated anyway, so I think we're at the same horsepower, and this reminds me so much of the power-wise of the old 6.0s that we used to have, so. Seventy degrees outside, so should be a good little test. There are two sets of double lanes between where I was and the uh, Sonoran Mountains of Mexico, so um, we're getting ready to hit the first of the, the grades. You can see where everything is right now. I'm in tenth at sixty-five on the flats, so this is somewhere between a six to seven percenter here for a little bit and if it gets too crazy i'll probably set the phone down and have the manual take over but see how she does and we're towing it's got to be somewhere close to fifteen thousand. so it's in seventh which in this transmission i believe is a direct drive eighth ninth and tenth are overdrives so put this down into sixth just to see what it's going to do I had to push the manual button. So I'm going to keep this at 4,000 intentionally because I know that's where the power is. And I'm just going to see how it runs up this hill in four. And so it's sixth. I won't drop any lower than that unless I really have to. But
part of that hill. Again, and if you were doing this all day long with these type of weights, there's a reason why diesel pickups exist. But providing this is heavier than the service trucks are ever going to see and are substantially over what you can tow without a Class A, and we're still climbing hills, in which uh, I used to tow similar weights with a 7.3 diesel, and it would never get above, you know, 35, 40, 45 max coming up that hill. So these transmissions, th this combination of this engine and transmission is better than any 7.3 diesel I was ever in. And I would put it on par with a 6.0 with the, you know, we used to have flatbeds and stuff that had the 488 gears in it. So, you know, if it had a deep enough gear set on the 6.0 and this, I would put them right on par with each other. Now our, our 6.7 diesels in this same thing would probably, you know, out tow this. But the larger trucks, the 650s and the 750s that have been detuned with the 6.7, uh, this actually tows better. And I've towed this exact same setup with them, so. Not too bad. All right, we're hoping to catch this green light, but we may not. This is another little steep pull right here. And please stay green. We're in it. Okay, I'm manually putting it in sixth, because I know this is a steep little hill. I want to see where she's going to keep speedometer wise and everything else. I'm not crazy weight, but we're at whatever this is 22, 23,000 probably. And I'm pulling 60 up this hill. engine see what it does sorry popo's out um, I haven't touched the brakes yet this engine's designed to run around 4,000 rpms all day if need be has plenty of torque at 2,500 and up, but this is a, uh, used to be a pretty damn steep section and a lot of accidents right here. That's why this light's here. Never touch the brake. Again, it's never gonna be an exhaust brake or the diesel. However, it's not gonna have the $9,000 emissions repairs that we've continually had on our diesel pickups at around 130, 140k. And then, you know, your death heaters, which are 2,000, and turbos, which are two to 3,000. And I know that there's people who could do it cheaper at their house, but when you're running a large operation, uh, you have to stop doing that. So have other people take care of those things for you. So, uh, I don't know, pretty impressed so far. That's all I'd say. Going down pretty steep hill right now. Uh, I don't know if you can see this big rig up here, but that's always been right as brakes. It's kind of weird. I keep actually put out the exhaust brake, but he's uh, gaining on me. I'm in a uh, sixth gear, I think. And I have not touched the brakes yet. Probably 
80,000 pounds and I'm nowhere near that, but steep enough you saw him, he just let off his brakes that whole time. So this truck controls the weight just fine. So this is the last video of running on the flats. Just came over top of a little hill, but I'm on the flats right now, P9. Got some people up here, I mean, but even if I wanted to accelerate up to 65, like, I'm not into the gas much right now. Yeah, the speed limit's 60, so. Pretty impressed with this thing.